Drop the roof and let the smoke clear I got diamonds to it, just the slides and both kids Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight Slip that on and we might just be fine my first tutorial on After Effects where I'm going to be showing you guys how to hide motion tile better when you're doing slides. So before you start editing, make sure your composition settings are edited to the dimensions of 1920 by 1080. Get on that, you go make two solids, one being 1920 by 1080 and the other being 1080 by 1080. Once you do that, um, click this button, switch this transfer controls menu, track mat, and then alpha invert mat so it looks like it's a square comp if you ignore the black bars right but you're still working in that space of 1920 by 1080 when you're doing slides you still have all this extra space so you see all that you see all this but if i were to edit the comp okay. if i were to edit the composition did 1080 by 1080 and pre-comp that and add motion tile when I would do a slide it would show this and not like you know the rest of the clip so it's like a motherfucker two heads all right anyways back to the touch that's that's why yeah you would edit like this once you set up your composition you can do a regular slide so what I do my my slides is I just oh, press P to open a position, right click on position and separate dimensions. That way I'm able to edit like each like, I forgot what these are called again. I'm just gonna say I'm able to edit X and value graph instead of just having a speed graph. So I go, I make a keyframe at the beginning of my clip and I go to the end, hold shift and then just click. And just drag it to like whatever direction you're going for so let's go to the left for that and then easy ease so press f9 on highlight your keyframes just f9 to easy ease them and then make sure you're on value graph mix um these are called spines you're gonna call them splines adventure editors column drag this all the way to the right hold shift by the way so hold shift point uh Pull it to the right, pull this bottom spine all the way up to the top where these two spines are touching. So these two should be like practically connected. Doesn't matter if you're a little bit off, but it's, it's okay. So that's the graph for that one. And then you just want to follow the slide, follow up. So it's completing the slide. So, put that shit over there. And then same graph, sharp. Bunch of be touching. That's how you do it. That's how you do the motion tile slide. And then once you're done editing, right, and you want to render, just change your composition to 1080 by 1080, and then you should be good. If you want a a slower, smoother slide, you can drag this keyframe back by one, and then double click on it. And then change the value to like around 3000. So it doesn't have to be exactly 3000, just somewhere around that number, you know? And then full graph again, or just, you know, spine should be touching. Let's edit that shit. Cool. Slower and smoother slide. And that's it. That's all for the tutorial. And um, yeah, pretty fucking short, not gonna lie. Anyway.